Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to do speech recognition using Python. Let's get started. So I've got PyCharm opened up here, but before we go into the coding aspect, let me show you what we're going to be using. We call this library called speech recognition. You can simply install this by using pip install speech recognition. This was authored by Anthony Zhang, and he has provided a lot of APIs that you can use for speech recognition, like Google, Sphinx, IBM, you know, other different speech recognition AI libraries that are available on the cloud for us to use. So let's get started. We'll come back here, and there are two, three things that we'll be using. There are two libraries that we need in order to install this. One is Pi Audio which is used to read the microphone input. And you can just simply do pip install pi audio for us. And it'll take care of it. The next thing is the speech recognition, which is pip install speech recognition. Now let's get into the coding aspect. First and foremost, you want to install or import the speech recognition library, right? So we do import speech recognition as SR. Once you have that variable brought in, you will initialize the speech recognizer by saying R is equal to the recognizer function from speech recognition. Now, once we have all of this initialized, we will create a while loop to continuously listen to your microphone. So we'll say a while true. And here we'll bring in two statements. One is the try statement, which will continuously try reading the audio and then recognizing the text from it. But at the same time, if there is, so let's say an error, let's say there was no audio at all, a mistake, then it will throw an exception and the function should be able to catch that exception and continue it back again without breaking the program on you. So we'll do try and we'll also call the accept function later on. So let's define the try statement. And in this try statement, the main thing you want to do is continuously read the microphone. So we'll say with sr.microphone as the source. So we're calling the microphone as a source. And now we will use that microphone to listen to the audio. We'll say print. This is just a command for the user to know what he's doing. So say something, please or do good or say something good and once it's done then you listen to the audio what the user gives audio is equal to using the source that we gave r dot listen listen using the source that we provided which is the microphone right so once the audio source is there then using this audio we're going to be passing it to the cloud functions like google like things like ibm like bing and then they can do the speech recognition for us so we do text that comes out should be coming from the recognizer right so r dot recognize and you have different apis you have api the Google API, the Google Cloud, Binge, IBM, and many other APIs that could use using this library. So we say recognize Google because Google is the one which is free and easy from all of those. The others are also there, but they do require some sort of you know secondary step where you have to go to their application, to their website, create an account with them. Some of them are paid, but Google is for free. So let's let's use it. So we say Google and we provide the audio that we detected from the previous step. Uh, we'll make this text just easy to read by making a text dot lower. So it's all in one unified format and then print that text for us. Uh, but instead of just making it say text, we'll say recognized text. Text is equal to text but we need to let it know that it's a function. So we we'll call it as F and it will read or you know, print the text for us. Now let's say there was an error. Well, you know, somebody tried to play mischief where they just gave, they, they did not want to speak and they wanted to show that the system is not working. So it should catch that exception, that error and say something and let it continue. Let Don't let the program break. So we'll say print you were trying to be funny, don't be funny. Okay, so then print, 
and then we initialize the recognizer once again r is equal to sr dot recognizer and continue so this won't this won't allow the program to break basically now let's come back and see if we can run this and work properly so it says say something good yes you are good i am good i'm doing good how are you doing good it did i don't know if it's good or it did I don't know the accuracy of this system, but it seems to be working and it's giving out the text that we need. Oh yeah, you're good, even with my accent. <laughs> okay, so you get the picture. It's easy, simple, not a lot of lines, and you could use this for a variety of other applications. One of the applications that I want used, I want this to be used, is for the voice cloning projects that we're doing, where instead of just providing the text, you could provide using speech recognition. The user could just say the text, and it will capture or extract the text or recognize the text out of it, and then send it to the voice cloning system to do the cloning for us. Now, looking forward to building that. I hope you like this program. With that, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.